This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger here. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Great. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a heart got a simulated training. You think you got a beat on him. And then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Oh, that's a strong slip there. And then the rip. The jab now, no good. And there's that jab. Let's get busy with those. That left hand's getting home. That is a damaging kick that lands. Trying to establish the jab early on here. I mean, right away, no feeling, no process. These boys just went and started fighting. Out of range with that one. Oh, the hook lands. Big overhand right. And now some separation. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good.
Back and forth we go. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. The fight is suffering. Oh, sidekick lands. Beautiful block there. The reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. That was a solid punch. Let's go, you can do this! Under three minutes to go in round one. Still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Big left hand there inside. Just one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, perfect head kick there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Big power shot there. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Well, I'm no fighter, but... I'm... Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Under two minutes to go in a back-and-forth first round here. That was a big check. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Forward, forward, forward. He's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Back and forth we go. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Oh, you heard him again, bro. Nice kick. Circling to his right. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Keeping him honest with the jab. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. That shot is blocked by Lee. Ten seconds to go in the round. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. What a start. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round, and Lee's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice. Nice block. 
Well, Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, big shot's getting through. Unable to land with that punch. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Whiffs on the elbow. That's a beautiful body kick. Just over three minutes to go. Cut above the eye. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice kick. Slips. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, Ben Saunders and the Muay Thai practitioners out there would be proud. Ball you knees to the body here in the clinch. D after D after D. They're all landing, so keep on throwing. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big right hand there. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It can oh! Under 30 seconds. This works. Please punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Final seconds of the round. Visibly limping here. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, 
it becomes Ready. impossible. They call that Ready. the trickle down effect. Do it. Right. 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 Here we go, third round of this yeah. championship fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Nice job blocking that shot. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, misses with the jab. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful ball. Just a nasty play kick. That one hurt. That's more than I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, big left. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh! There it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice kick. Twenty seconds left. Side kick. Waning seconds here of round number three. Oh. All right, three rounds down, but...
potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, take a seat. Three. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat Ready up. Fight. He was battered. He was Ready. bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. Oh, that's the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression. Oh! Oh, you got him again. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's option. All right, James starting to see some. Yeah, he hurt real bad. He's still hurt. Oh, that's big. That punch was deflected nicely. Oh, man. Oh, man. He can't understand. He's Stop very that. close to the finish Stop here. That. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defense. Oh, my God. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Block that kick to the body. He's not making things easier on the opponent right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that strike certainly found the target. into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like oh! That'll do it! Oh, oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus 